Hi guys, Dane here, and uh, this is a new filming location you might notice. I have been basically rejigging my living room, and because I always sit on my sofa when I film my videos, and I've moved my sofa, new filming location. But actually, that's quite a cool backdrop though, I don't mind that, that's alright. Bugging me now that this doesn't go all the way across, but oh well. Uh, anyway, welcome to my August haul video. Uh, I'm trying to keep my like buying relatively low at the moment because I'm working on decreasing my TBR. However, I was offered this by who's it by? From, by Quilla Publishing. So I said yes. So let's have a look. So this is the Dictionary of Posh by Hugh Kellett, illustrations by Oliver Preston. Uh, and this book will teach you the art of speaking posh. So it is, it's basically a dictionary of posh words. Uh, so yeah, I will read this shortly. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. I might read it as a bedtime book. Yeah, I think it'll be a bedtime book. Because obviously it's a dictionary, so if I just sit there and read it cover to cover, it's going to get kind of tiring. Alright, cool. Alrighty, I've got a parcel in the post. It feels like another one of those small books that I ordered, but I don't remember what I ordered. This is... Oh, okay. This is Tao Lin, Shoplifting from American Apparel. The Contemporary Art of the Novella. And uh, this gets pretty bad reviews online. <laughs> uh, but I like Tao Lin. I've read some of his stuff before and really enjoyed it. So I am looking forward to reading this one. In fact, I might read this next. Okay, we've got to do this super quickly because... Even though I just put the battery on to charge, it is still dead. Anyway, I got some books from a charity shop. So I got uh, Lives of the Great Scientist, Charles Darwin. And this is by, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Eldegard Peach. He's written one of these for a different book that I read. This is one of the original Ladybird books. And I've just been kind of picking them up as and when I see them in charity shops. It's very cool. I have actually already read that one. Then I got uh, Night by Eli Weisel, and I, th I think that's how you pronounce it. All I know is that this is a Holocaust book. I actually found out it's the first of three in the series as well, uh, non-fiction. I'm ass assuming it's going to be very harrowing, but uh, I've heard good things about it, and it doesn't seem like it's super long either, so, I mean, it can't hurt to take a chance on that. Uh, then I have Cannery Row by John Steinbeck. I've read Of Mice and Men and like just some of his short stories and I've been just I really enjoyed them So I want to get to more Steinbeck So I picked this one up and then funnily enough uh, Madman Reads and Rocks here on booktube when he saw that I picked it up He was singing his praises so that can only be a good thing too And again, these are all nice short ones which are helping me because I'm trying to reduce the size of my TBR my own TBR here I have Such, Such Were the Joys by George Orwell. And this is almost like a chat book. This was actually only a pound when it was originally published. But it's published by Penguin. It's got just like a bunch of his essays. Like one of them is his uh, Why I Write. And I've, I read that. And it, it was okay, I guess. It was a bit of a letdown, really, to be honest. Um, but maybe the rest of these would be better. I don't know. Actually, I think this is just Such, Such Were the Joys. And then finally I've got here Quentin Tarantino Pulp Fiction and this is the screenplay of the movie which I didn't know existed in book format but as soon as I saw it, especially I saw it in a place that had two copies of it, I knew I had to get it. So yeah, those are my latest acquisitions. Okay, I have one last book to mention here. This arrived in the post uh, and I didn't realise, well I knew it was coming but I'd forgotten. This is Colin Dardis, The Dogs of Humanity and it's a poetry collection from the chapbook series of Fly on the Wall Press. It was sent for me for review by their editor, Isabel Kenyon, and they do some really good stuff. Uh, let me just read, uh, I don't know, let's read Lion Tree. Actually, no, let's do Elephant, Old Black Stars on Skies of Grey. Your world dips down to narrow wells, small space of primitive sense, allowing mortal dominance, open pores on expansive swell. Survey the sprawl, the jungle's breadth, your kingdom tall, her hunters lie, to capture jewels beyond your ears, to quell the waters of your breath. Who could store your bony fruit while capturing that dark glint, moistened wells, ring of flint, such agony of man's pursuit. There's some really good stuff in here, and it's all uh, uh, like dog themed as well, so that's very cool. So uh, I've actually already read this, and I'm going to be revi like reviewing it for Tarden Danes, Indy Read Along. There's also some footage that's gone missing somewhere where I hauled some other books. So, um, sorry about that. I don't know what happened with that. 
Um, it was only like three or four though, so and I can't remember which specific books they were, otherwise I'd refilm them. So yeah, uh, but I, as you noticed, I've been trying to haul fewer books recently while like reading more. I'm trying to reduce my overall own TBR to less than a hundred. I'm currently on a hundred and forty-four, and uh, cracking on with this Murakami book, which I'll probably finish tomorrow, I reckon. And then I'll be on one four three. So hooray! But in the meantime, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.